Hello there, welcome back to some more Borderlands 3. In the last episode, what we did is we finished a special uh, little extraction shooter. And now, I'm going to change how I look so that we uh, have a bit of a different vibe. Let's go for like the, the deadliness. Good. Let's speak to Ellie as a giant TV. I'm actually going to carry on with the main game now. Crazy, I'm aware. Come on. Right. Down here somewhere, isn't it? Yes. Hello, Ellie. Right, so, I rigged up our drop pod with a fast travel unit. Once you're playing it side, it'll hook up with the local network and you can come right back up. Okay, my sound's all weird again, so I think Windows has done that thing again. So before I assume it's broken, let me uh, change it. Before it goes weird. Yeah, it says it's 5.1 again. It's not. There we go. Windows does this sometimes. Now, it won't be what you call comfortable or trustworthy or safe by any measure. I'm just listing things. Ain't no bud at the end of that. Except these two hands you've been checking out. I saw you. Anyway, get in and I'll launch. Okay. Hey, listen, I know Lil's putting on a good face, but she's hurting. We're all going to have to pick up the slack. I know you're up to it, sweet cheeks. I, know, I also remember that the sound doesn't sound weird to you. Um, it only sounds weird to me, but I still need to fix it. Right, let's head up to the old uh, Promethean navigation zone. With my guns that are super overpowered and hopefully I'll kill everything that moves. Or it will scale up to be my level, which will actually be helpful. But we'll see. I don't think this is faster, but I do it anyway. Right. Promethea. Okie dokie, right, so, done that, now we just have to go to the drop pod and get out of here. This isn't the lowest way down. The lowest way down's over here somewhere. Meridian Outskirts. Let's have a look. Bounty hunting and a band of outlaws, huh? I've always wanted to star in a western. Let's do it. Promethea. Landing. I've been in gentler fist fights. Ugh. As long as you're alive. Looks like Ellie got you within the city limits. Go find whoever made that distress call. Hey, Ratchling. Remember, like I said, they're level 14, so. <sighs> Oh, 
all the things here are going to be quite easy. But the the quest XP will still count, so I'll still get that. Better come back later. Don't have what I need for that now. I also have uh, optional objectives I need to do, of course, because I need to go and get like logs and things like that, and that's worth XP as well. So they're they're probably where the main bulk of the XP I'm actually going to get will be. Success bullet thing seems pretty good. Love a lie. Bloody and badass. Bloody hell, that got a bit mucky. Hey you! Over here! Uh yes. Just a minute. I don't know why you're from Landed Town! From fucking Landed! But that's fine. show up all over the city screaming about some vault. That's the Calypso's doing. They want the vault, and I'm here to beat them to it. The Calypso's? Those yammering echo net assholes with the cult? Well, I got no slagging clue about vaults, but Reese would know. Come on, I gotta tell him about our new bandit problem anyway. I'll introduce you. Okay. Well, I'm good to go here. Place is compromised anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Where my meat? The thing I get here will be any good whatsoever, so I might as well just sell it. Right. Hello, what's this? Healers and dealers from the claps list. Hello, Dr. Ace, who's struggling to keep. Oh, help, Dr. Ace, who's struggling to keep his patients alive during the Cup of War, even as he hustles that rap game. Okay. 
Oh, this map's not that big. Pandora made me think that every map's going to be massive, but... Grab some wheels. We need to drive through the spillways, and there's always trouble. Thank you, OBS. Very cool. Cyclone. Okay, right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Right, let's carry on. I'm gonna get some map, I guess. Some kind of communication symbol here. I can find that. Theory. Maybe I can't, at least not yet. I shan't worry about it right this second. Nice. Right. Hello. A vault hunter? What are you doing up in here? Claptrap said something about lost staff? Seriously? I put that request up like seven years ago. Back when I had a respectable establishment, not this crap pile you see now. But I am glad you're here. See, I'm trying to help out all the poor bastards affected by this war. But yo, straight up, we are running short on med supplies. We need hexaprizine, skag oil, melodinax, and hemopax. Track some down for me, will ya? Okay. Collect meds, collect blood packs. I'm not just a doctor in medicine. My practice is in combat trauma, but my residency was in rhyme. Word. Oh, snap! I forgot to give you a mixtape. Do you want one? But it please. I'm from Partali. I don't want your weak-ass rhymes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. You're concentrating on your flow. I'll hit you with it later. I'm just gonna... Go this way. Come on, me. That's not what I wanted to do. I wonder if slag me is supposed to be like, fuck me! Oh fuck off, man! Oh for fuck's sake! <laughs> slag just sounds like. Because like, in British slang, slag is a very different thing. So to use it as a swear word 
kind of get, gives away the fact that they aren't actually British because they wouldn't use slag as that kind of word if they were from Britain. Because we know it means something else. It means a promiscuous woman. Is a black market dealer. I'll bet dollars to D's nuts he stole those supplies. Dude's a pushover though. Just threaten him and he'll give him up. I got some supplies here and I'm happy to sell them for a reasonably marked up price. I'm just trying to feed my family. You understand, right? Please, don't shoot. There's been enough bloodshed around here. Just give me the cash and we can make a deal. Yeah, yeah, we've all got a sob story. As for me, I've got patience to heal and no patience to deal. Just threaten him and be done with it. You don't know what it's like down here. People don't eat for days. It's a nightmare. I'll help you. But you'd better think about your life choices, you hear me? Wow, thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me and my family. Man, get your punk ass out of here before my vault hunter changes their mind. He doesn't need to know that I paid him. It's fine. I'm friendly. I'm a friendly guy. Don't worry about it. I'm not kill everyone and murder them and whatever. Unless they shoot me. If they shoot at me for any reason, they're dead. I need to take one of their hover cars. So I've got one for myself. I oh, mean, just driving like an idiot, trying to get map clearance. Go through there yet? That seems like story progress to me. Hello, car. You alright? There we go. He got a little bit stuck. We can unfix it. We unstuck it. something through this grate. Oh, that's just great. Oh, dip, the pharmacy. Been abandoned for a while, but there should be some supplies left. Heard this place was infested, though. Squash those ratchet-ass ratchets. Are we through here? Okay, cool. I'm guessing a rat is like a rat. All alienified and fucked up. Bye bye. Blood. <laughs> I'm not exactly the target audience. I do not understand your sick flow and your vibes. They bemuse me. Take me back to the good old days of the harpsichord. Okay. <laughs> Let 
let me double this ship before I forget. Sticky technical. How to be getting up there, yes? By doing the parkour. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of know how to get there, Ellie, but I'm trying my best. No, no. No, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Try again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that what the map's trying to tell me? Yeah, hijack target, okay. Sticky mine layer. I've realised the error of my ways. Here you are. Let me have the supplies for you. Still a little short on hemoglobin. Hemoglobin disrobing is the title track on my mixtape, by the way. Did you want one or no? Still no? Okay, screw it. I'll donate some of my own. Grab this empty emo pack and give me an assist. Okay. I'll give you some of mine if you want it. Mine goes back on its own. Okay, now. Very very carefully just delicately use the hemo pack on my arm okay oh, yep. okay that'll do oh, sorry 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 okay um thanks i think but at least maybe this will finally give me some street cred uh, maybe i'll get one of those sweet atlas robot arms but hey, don't worry about me. I'll survive. And so will my patience, thanks to you. Mount Schuler is finally ready to staff up and heal the hurt. Oh, by the way, that Harden guy stopped by. He wanted you to have this. His way of saying thanks, I guess. Word. <laughs> Last chance on that mixtape, by the way. Still no? Word. <gasps> Still no. Okay. Wait. I'm gonna go see if someone's at the door for me or whether they just delivered mail. Uh, I'll be back in a second, don't worry. It's gonna drive to where we have to go. Smooth driving, oh baby. My people are inside. Let me do the talking. Okay, go back. Two seconds. Oi, Skyman, open up. Uh, password? Passwords, open the bloody door before I shove a coffee grinder up your ass. It's definitely her, guys. Welcome back, sir. Report, how's it looking? Lots of movement. Bandits and Malawan patrols working together. We moved the sims into the tunnels just in case. And we've tried contacting Reese, but Malawan's jamming our comms. Bollocks. Stay sharp, Skyman. Come on, Vault Hunter. This way. 
There's an Atlas base nearby with a direct line back to Reese and HQ. Malawan captured it a few months ago. I haven't had the manpower to take it back, but now that you're here, maybe we can finally send those bastards packing. Okay, I'm listening. Let me uh first take this log because I didn't do it because she was talking, but now I'm gonna. Well, here's something you don't see every day. Marcus eating crow. That Reese fellow. He's got Atlas making new tech. Crazy stuff like homing bullets. Well, I know a price leader when I see one. I had to buy in while I could. I called Reese to let him know I'd reconsidered his offer. He gouged me, of course, but in the end, we made a deal. For better or worse, the Atlas I knew, the sad shadow chasing its own crimson tail, is gone. Okay, hello. Oh dear. See these civilians? Malawan doesn't care if they're caught in the crossfire. They're here to take over Atlas and sell Reese's new weapons as their own. To them, this war is just a merger. Let me know when you're ready to take back that Atlas base. Okay. I'll talk to you when I'm ready. Oh gosh. Hi. Hello. Don't be weird about this. Just a regular person. I mean, I'm infinitely cooler. Stronger could kill you just as by looking at you, but besides that, we're the same. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh, hi. Citizen, this planet is now property of the Malawan Corporation. By remaining in the city, you've implicitly signed a non compete agreement with Malawan. This camp violates that agreement. What are you talking about? They're just tents. We're not competing with anything. We're just trying to survive. Malawan has a robust catalog of emergency shelters available for purchase. Any off-brand shelters are considered competition and are to be destroyed immediately. No! Stop! You can't! Pyrotech! All these ones right here! Hose them! Gotta get back to the fight sooner. Or Everyone loves a pissing contest till yeah, their feet get wet. Oh right, so as you can see, life sucks right now. There's these two Malawan guys, Rax and Max, who are crapping it up in particular. It's like they're trying to out war crime each other. One of them murdered my family. I don't know who. Find out who did it and kill him. Okay. Hey, did that stupid Sim tell you I killed their family?
You two are both insufferable. I'm going to take pleasure in murdering both of you. As soon as the game gives me the option. He's always the one offering, like, oh, I did the thing that you can clearly see happened. And Rax is like, oh, no, 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 it was definitely me. So I put them in body bags, which I think, you know, they're not seeing me, so how would they know that's what happened unless they did it? Yeah, like I said, I've got a week off work. But now I'm, gonna, I'm ill again, and last time there was a week off work, I was ill then too. God damn it. It's very annoying. I might have been able to do this the whole time. I don't remember. Hopefully this time I don't completely lose my voice and everything like I did last time. This will actually be decent weapons, yeah. when that happens. I, I wonder if I can click on the log again and it'll repeat what he said.
I see. All right, well, let's go hand this in, then we'll call it for the day. I've got one more episode in me before I have to do other unrelated work. Woo! Ducktails, a woo! Ziff. Hello. Ziff, I'm coming. What's up? Oh, hi. Hiya. Hey there. You're a killing machine, Vault Hunter. Thanks for taking the endless cycle of bloodshed onto your shoulders. Now I'm out of it. Here, this should help make up for your bloody shoulders. Nice. What was that? Smaller one! They found us! Run! Oh, bollocks! Smaller one's in the tunnels! Take him out! I'm down Bell for a brawl. Stronger together. You guys are all gonna die. I didn't know I was going to get embroiled in this. I don't mind. So that's this bit, okay. gone here now I can go back here and do this don't mind if I do please don't shoot I always find Mala one come on we're heading to watershed base it's through here Mala one bloody well entrenched so get ready for a fight I will, but first, let me have a look at the old, uh... Look at everything else that's going on. There are definitely bits of the map I haven't seen. My nose is running. What joy. I love that, for me. Okay, I'll see you guys next time then, when we go into the Meridian Metroplex. See you then. Goodbye.